Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today, we're going to tell you how to add and remove keyboards from the iPhone 17 Pro, Pro Max, etc. This basically works on iOS 26. It's all the same. Uh, let's just jump right into it. You want to look for the settings menu, which is this gear thing here, and then go down and uh, under general, which is also a gear. You want to go down to keyboards, which looks like a keyboard. So yeah, so you can see that there's this section up at the beginning which is the number of keyboards that you have available. And you can see them here and you can add new keyboards. So for example, in my case, I sometimes type in Japanese. I sometimes type in traditional Chinese, but I also want to add maybe simplified Chinese, for example. So I go down here and simplified. So, and then you have, in most cases, you have choice of different keyboards or uh, in this case, entry methods for non-Roman characters. So I'm going to pick Pinyin, which is basically like the phonetic translation. Okay, and so now you can see it's in here, but oh, I want the two Chinese to be together. So I go to edit and now you click on these lines here, you can drag it up and down. So basically my preference or order in the keyboard menu um, when I'm typing something will be like this, English, Japanese, etc., etc., and then emoji. And if you want to take anything off, click there and delete, but let's not delete that. Okay, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So now if you're typing a message, you're in a text window and you see the keyboard, you can now click on that globe. You can see those same languages offered here, or you can actually open up that same exact keyboard settings thing here. Uh, but you can see that now you also have the option, at least on the larger phones, to do this kind of squashed keyboard. And if you want to get rid of that, just go back here and click on that. So then if you click on, if you just touch on this really quickly, it cycles through those. So that's Japanese, Kana. English, so it goes back and forth, and then now traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, English again. So I think if you pause, it ends up like defaulting going back to English. So for example, if I wait and then I click on it, yeah, it goes back to English. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go back and basically shortcut back to here. So let's quickly just go through all these. Uh, that's to turn on and off that one-handed keyboard. Text replacement, is, so this just makes like uh, text shortcuts. So if I type OMW, it'll actually automatically change it to on my way. So sort of changing your text speak back in a normal speak. And if you want to add stuff there, you can you can add these shortcuts, whatever they call them. Um, so yeah, I uh, change the character preview, change the haptic feedback. So that's like, does it vibrate when you click? Uh, is there a sound? Turn on and off auto correction. This one's interesting, like they, they didn't really advertise it, but I just sort of noticed it on my own, where if you start typing like one plus two equals, and then it'll automatically like fill in the answer. So it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, smart punctuation, enable caps lock, you guys can figure that out. The slide to type one, I never use. Um, basically double space equals a period shortcut, enable dictation, auto punctuation, dictation languages. I don't know if like, if it actually sends it, oh yeah, privacy. So it actually warns you, like, I think it sends the data off to get translated. So it'll use data. And so there's some, you know, privacy risks if you, if you turn that one on. So then they have the like language specific option. So if you're doing English, you know, do you want to have it auto capitalized? Do you want to check spelling uh, you guys can read through most of these? Uh, there's some for Japanese, some for Chinese as well, and then some even for emojis. So that's basically it on how you change the keyboard on this iPhone 17 Pro and anything running iOS 26. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today I have a deep purple iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to insert and remove a physical SIM. So before we start,